Hi, Ron Hughes here with Patterson Liquid Systems. Today I'd like to go over the newest version of our inductor flex. Um, I'll start off with the pump. So we use a 400 gallon a minute, 13 horsepower pump. Uh, it has electric start on it, also has a, has a rope. The uh, uh, tank we use is a 60 gallon, so roughly 200 liter uh, tank. And then, so what we do is we pull the product directly out of the tote and meter it into the stream. Um, so by using the Venturi in the same way that, uh, that we empty the tank, we flip a valve and we can pull product and meter it in directly into the, into the sprayer. Okay, so we're going to start off with our pump. One thing to keep in mind with, a, with the Flex system is that the pump and the tank and the meter can all be purchased individually or maybe you already have a 13 horsepower pump on the farm and you want to utilize that. Um, so it, it, is a, it is a modular setup, so it can be purchased individually, and the components can be moved around. Um, but I'm going to start off with the pump. So we use a 13 horsepower uh, high pro pump, uh, and it's coupled to a power pro engine. We can upgrade that to a GX390 engine. Uh, both motors will have uh, electric start and are capable, married up to this pump, of about 400 gallons a minute. Now that's supplied with either, when you're supplying the pump with either a, uh, uh, a one four inch hose, or if you have tanks on the front and the back of your trailer, the two three inch hose is teed right in front of the pump. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the, uh, the main tank. Um, so again, 60 gallon tank, uh, 225 liters, the increments are marked on the side. I'll, uh, I'll start off with the, uh, with the rinse and, and flush features. So we've got a tank flush uh, inside the tank. Uh, there's a 10 foot wash hose we have as well. So this hose can be used, you know, it's a, again, always fresh water going through the pump. So this is always gonna be clean, clean water. There'll never be chemical in this line. Um, so we can use this as an external water source on the trailer if you gotta wash something down. Um, the main reason we have this on here though, is you will take the lines off of your tote hook them up to here, and now we have a pressurized system to, to flush out any lines being used on the, uh, on the trailer. We also, uh, we have a roto rinse inside our 60 gallon tank. The roto rinse that we use is actually out of a, an 800 gallon sprayer. So it's a really aggressive clean inside this tank. Uh, you know, you're only gonna leave this lid open one time and turn that handle on, it, uh, it's gonna make a mess. Um, and then we've isolated the jug rinse. So just below the knife, the, uh, the, the rinse for your jugs is isolated over here so you're not accidentally grabbing the, grabbing the wrong handle. Okay, so we'll go over the, uh, the bread and butter of the flex here, the, the, uh, the main plumbing on the front. Um, so we're using uh, sweeps and uh, we do have the 145 coming out of the pump, but uh, we are all about speed. Uh, so we can do, again, 400 gallons a minute. Uh, I have this set to uh, bypass now, so this would be filling the sprayer. Water's coming out of the pump through here and, and straight off to the sprayer. Um, a nice simple setup for pulling, pro for pulling chemical out. So we're gonna close this main valve and open this. So this is gonna activate the Venturi, and now we're pulling product out of the tank. If we wanna pull product out of the totes, we open that valve there, and once we have all our chemical in, we open this, and again, we're right back to, uh, right back to filling the sprayer. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the meter package. So again, with our plumbing setup and this Venturi, the way, the way we have everything set, we can pull up to 200 liters a minute of uh, product out of totes. So um, what that requires is a very accurate meter. So um, we've gone to the McNaught meter. It is a two inch meter. Uh, you don't need to calibrate it for each product as, uh, as you would say with like a, a, a diaphragm meter, or one that's off of a, off a chem pump. Whether you're metering water or micronutrients or thick chemicals, uh, the calibration does not need to be changed on this meter. Um, as it's set up right now, we have two, uh, two inch lines coming in from totes. Uh, we, we pull this, that 200 liters a minute of product um, using a two inch line, you know, no more than 10, 15 feet long from the totes. When we start using a one inch line, 
there's a, a friction loss in there and it's going to bring our, uh, our liters per minute out of the tote into the system down quite a bit. Um, the flex is, uh, I, I mean, as it's, as it's set up here, a nice tight setup. We're looking at 62 inches wide. Uh, we're 44 inches tall and 40 inches deep. Uh, I believe we're 44 inches wide just on the, on the tank setup. And that's as it's configured now. But all of these components can be moved as well. So the pump is, uh, is on a stand that can be, can be bolted off to the side and you would just run a hose uh, to the supply side of the, of the flex. The, uh, this main valve bank on the front can be taken off and laid down on the deck. We have uh, lots of customers that have removed this. They're not doing a bunch of jugs and can, uh, can work the valves standing, standing on the ground. And the meters as well. So uh, these meters uh, with a, a different adapter bracket can be standing up or pointing in a different direction. So, you know, whether you're in a van or, or confined uh, space on a, on a step deck, what we've seen, no two trailers are exactly the same. So you're gonna take this home and, and change some components sometimes. And we wanted to, we wanted to build that uh, with, with that in mind. So moving on to the meter itself, what we need from a meter is two things. It needs to be very accurate. And this, this, this meter is gonna be better than 1%. It doesn't matter what product you're using. And again, we don't need to calibrate it for each product. Um, the other feature is, is it needs to be easy to use. So uh, we've, we've got a few very simple functions here. Um, so the first one we're gonna look at is the reading is liters per minute. So you'll be able to see how fast you're pulling uh, product out of the, out of the tote and, and uh, thicker products are gonna pull a little bit slower. You'll see up to 200 liters per minute on here with, uh, with a little lighter products. Um, this is batch one. So we have two batches. Uh, batch one, batch two, to reset these, nice and simple. Hit both keys, hit yes, zeroes it out. I've already zeroed out batch two. And then we have a total accumulated liters uh, as the fourth setting. And that's it. It's, it's a farmer proof meter. So here we are on the uh, far right hand side of the flex. Um, what you can see we've got, uh, as it's set up here, we have three valves going out to uh, different totes so we can hook up to multiple different products or uh, multiple totes of the same product. Two of these are set up with uh, two inch ports, one with a one inch port. Um, this stuff's all Farmer Lego too. We could add another valve or two on here if we wanted. And uh, we've designed this with a, a, there's another bracket if this orientation doesn't work for you, these valves can be stood up or turned out. Um, you'll see on the end here too, uh, for flushing out, this is our, uh, our quick rinse here. So a quick open of this valve and we can flush out the, the whole meter system so we're not contaminating, uh, switching from one product to another, just, a, just another feature to make it easier to clean out. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick demonstration of, uh, I just wanna be able to show you the liters per minute coming, coming through this meter. So we have this tote, it's full of, uh, we have just over a thousand liters of water here. You should be able to see, you know, we should get close to 200 liters per minute uh, on the meter. And uh, I mean, that's gonna be five minutes to empty this thousand liter tote. Okay, once again, thank you for uh, spending a few minutes uh, with me here going over the new, uh, the redesigned Pattison Flex. Once again, a uh, 400 gallon a minute pump. We can pull chemical out of uh, totes at up to 200 liters a minute. You can smash jugs in this tank uh, because it's isolated while you're pulling product out of totes that speeds things up even more and a completely modular versatile setup. So if you have any more questions, please give us a call at 1-866-509-0715 or check us out at liquidsystems.net. Thank you. Patterson Liquid Systems, expect the best.